Keep my people, welcome back to Best Aussies Booze News and Reviews. Now, having reviewed three Umeshu, the Japanese um, almond slash plum wine, let's jump across the Straits of Tsujima to Korea and try their standard beverage, which is soju, soju. Japanese make a very similar one, and I will get around to that very soon. And it will be appearing about there. This is soju fresh. It is an unflavored soju, okay? There is a truckload of flavored shojus out there that I think Odette might have a look at. Um, they range from watermelon to bubblegum to God knows what. But this is the base spirit. This is what, but dare I say, adults, or at least I've tried to pretend one, like me, start drinking. So the unopened bottled, it cost me $10. This stuff sits at 13%. So it is a reasonable bang. It's a screw top. It is at room temperature, and room temperature, as I sit before you, is about 15, 16 degrees. It is the King's birthday long weekend, start of winter, so it's due to get a little cold. Let's just tip this in. I've drunk lots of vodka, I've drunk a fair bit of sake in my time, but I've never really tried a soju, or shoju. If you're Korean, correct me. I don't read Hangul. The most thing I know about Hangul is that it was actually created by the Koreans to get around using Chinese which wasn't suiting their language, and Hangul is an alphabet, because everything's phonetic. Yeah, that's your history lesson, so. There's not a lot happening on the nose. This is, I should stress, shows you stress, um, fresh. And according to a little frog on the label, this brand's been made since 1924, so it's a century old. In 1924, Korea was being run by the Japanese. It's that little space between Big mistake number one and big mistake number two. So there's not a lot on the nose. There's no smell of happiness. So let's see if we can have a taste of happiness. Okay, that is dead plain. Okay, um, this is just 13%. This is absolutely dead plain. There's no, no flavor at all in this. Let me zip out, do the flash, and I will consult the person in the next room, and we will see if she agrees. This is completely flavorless. Uh, there's a very mild flavor, but it's nothing that I can put my tongue on. Back in a moment, go and mis misbehave. Um, I consulted the, the, the taste buds next door. This is very rounded. It's very smooth. The Melbourne equivalent, believe it or not, would actually be Port Phillip Distillery's vodka. Look at that. This stuff. This would be the closest because this is as neat and as smooth a vodka as I've ever come across. And the result is, all I can come with this is it's um, rice base. That's it. It's Korean, it's rice base. This has a flavorless, well, essentially flavorless, but very smooth and well-rounded alcohol. It's gonna make a incredibly good base for those cocktails you wanna go making, okay? Um, this is, it's a bit cheaper than this, uh, but this is the smoothest, best whis uh, whiskey and vodka I've ever tried. So this is showed you fresh, and my screen screen's now telling me it's Jinru Jinro Chai Maiso Shoju Fresh. And that's about all I can find about it. It's neutral spirits and spirits distilled from rice. Because I'm now looking at a magnified version on my screen. So this is the basic shoju. Uh, hopefully all the others by my Jinro Chai Maiso. Must be stressing that my label actually doesn't have the English. I'm looking at the American website. So this is the basis. Go out, have fun. And because it's got no smell, if you want to go have a sneaky drink, this is stuff I go doing it with. It is going to form the basis of endless numbers of cocktails. Okay. Thank you for subscribing, like, share, and 